buddy, Eric Jackson here. I got a special guest, my son-in-law, Mr. Nick Troutman, Team Jackson Kayak, and he, by the way, is in the know. And we're gonna cover uh, today creek boat outfitting. So we did uh, we did the Rockstar 4.0, so you know about the outfitting of that last time. But now it's time to talk about Zen and Nirvana. And we're talking about performance, we're talking about comfort, and a few things that you may not know. So. Mr. Nick. Cool. I'll give you guys a couple uh, tips and tricks of what I like to do with my Nirvana, how I paddle it, and um, how you guys can outfit it. So, uh, as you see here, we've got the Sweet Cheeks. It's something cool that you can throw in there as an accessory or add on after the fact. Um, really gives you that bucket uh, seat shape and comfort. You can just blow some air in, wiggle around. Kind of move those beans around, suck the air out, and then it'll form specifically to your shape and your body. The cool thing about that too is if you want to sit higher or sit lower, you can move the beans around. So if I want to get lower, a little bit more stable, I can move the beans further to the back, further to the sides, and I can uh, sit a little bit lower. And if I want to sit a little bit higher, get maybe a, a, a longer stroke or just higher up out of the boat, I can move some of those beans right under my butt and kind of sit a little bit higher there too. You've got your, uh, your shim pack, these things right here. We just open these up to the side. Take your shims out and you can uh, load them either from the top or the bottom and Put them in right here, push them down, lock those babies in. Um, one of the things here on the hip pads is if you ever feel like, and this pretty much goes with any kayak, but if you ever feel like you're losing um, feeling in your leg or something like that, it's usually your, your sciatic nerve or the hip pad digging into your nerve here and, and cutting cutting off that feeling so just move the hip pads up if that's ever an issue with you it should really feel that this contour uh, locks you into the boat and it wants to kind of like roll over your hips there so I'm gonna get in here and see exactly where that fits me into the boat right here this should be over top of my leg locking me in feeling great there um, as far as where my seat goes into the boat I like to paddle it um, one notch back from center so right here you've got you got your five holes, and I'm in the fourth one, um, and so I'm, I'm one notch back from center. What that really does is it weights the back edges of the boat, um, and it really helps me uh, control the carve a lot more with the boat. It keeps that bow super dry and um, really floaty up in front and I can really just kind of edge in and really carve in and out of eddies and gives me a lot more control personally. Um, some people like Not to mention it boofs easier too. <laughs> yeah, uh, some people like to paddle a little bit farther forward and they like to have kind of the bow edges or the front of the boat really drive it. Uh, my personal preference is to sit a little bit back. I know that's also the same way that EJ and Dane paddle their boats, but um, if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. You've got the five different seat positions, so go ahead and just try uh, try some different positions with your seat and see what works best for you. But I personally like to sit a little bit a little bit farther back. Uh, the cool thing with the the bulkhead up front, this is actually my favorite part of our creek boats, is our bulkhead system, Utrecht system. Um, one, the whole thing is attached on the center pillar here, so it's super easy to adjust. Um, forward and back and two you just pop these off you pop off your little uh, cleat there and then you can pull your whole bulkhead off and now you've got full access to the front of the boat for um, overnighters throwing some camping stuff in there you got your food your um, stove anything like that there. yeah the other cool thing is that um, it helps weight your boat when you're doing overnighters and stuff too so one, it opens up a lot more access that you can carry more stuff, but two, you can balance the weight of your boat when you're packing for overnighters and stuff too, so you're not all stern heavy. So you just throw this back on, and then slide this back in. Throw the foam back on through this little hole. Throw 
this cleat on and we're good to go. The, the next best part, actually probably the best part, but another best part of the bulkhead system, one, it's super easy to adjust so I can just like in and out, lock this thing down. But my favorite, favorite, favorite part is that it's shock absorbing. So if I'm gonna peach on something super hard, the whole boat is, and the whole bulkhead is gonna flex forward. It's all on this center pillar. So the foam is gonna flex, the rope is gonna flex a little bit. Our big foam blocks here are gonna take some of the uh, absorption and it's gonna protect your ankles and protect your boat. And so more than anything, um, I really just wanna protect my ankles. So I'm stoked that, and I personally peach on the heck out of a couple different drops, um, but ask, Ask anybody who's, who's had one of these boats, a lot of Team Jackson has done it, and uh, it really is awesome to be able to peach on something super hard and walk away uh, and just be like, wow, that, that was awesome and it really didn't hurt. Um, next, we got our back band system. Um, so, super easy with the ropes and the cleats here. It's all applied by pressure, so once you add pressure to the back, it's just gonna lock here into the cleats. Uh, super comfortable, easy to adjust, and just pop those forward um, and instantly have full range of access of your back band. Super cool. Um, and then we've also got back here full access to the back of the boat. I can unclip this if I'm doing any big um, overnighters and I want to pack a lot of gear back in there. Otherwise, keep this locked in and can adjust on my my bungees here whether I want the back band super low or whether I want it to sit higher um, so depending on how you like the back band and where you want it to kind of sit up against uh, your your back uh, your lower back whichever is more comfortable for you um, you can uh, adjust that and, and that'll sit nicely against the back of your lower back it's super comfortable and yeah that pretty much wraps up what I like to do for outfitting. Um, I'll also, with the with the foam blocks up here, trim them to my size so that it locks me in nice and comfortable. And uh, and it'll take up all the space around the boat. So again, I've got locked in and, and comfortable and don't have to worry about my feet ever going beyond the, the bulkhead or anything like that. But yeah, have fun. This pretty much is the same for both the Nirvana and the Zen and um, same outfitting. And yeah, that's, that's how I personally do it. But go out, try a couple different things for yourself and have fun with it. Sweet, Nick Troutman in the know. The, uh, you know, the, the bulkhead, so when the bulkhead foam comes, it comes really big. But if you're really short like Nick and I, we don't even have to trim it. We just push it forward and it squeezes down and makes a super solid uh, bulkhead that way. But if you're tall, like this is Alex boat and he's like that big, you're gonna have to trim it. Next one we're going to do is that one right there, the Antics. So stay tuned. Next week, outfitting the Antics for river running, creaking, stern squirting, surfing. Do you know anything about that one, Nick? Just happens to be my favorite boat out there. So Nick Troutman, also in the know for the Antics. See you next week. Cool. All right, so now you've got some inside tips on outfitting the Zen and the Nirvana. So next one is good. we're going to do is going to be on the antics so see right down there push that subscribe button uh the next one is going to be the antics so you know what's coming up but uh leave comments about ne next episodes you want to see it's not going to all be outfitting boats it's going to be techniques uh paddling techniques packing techniques safety fitness anything that we might know about that maybe you don't um and if there's something you know about that we don't know about we want to hear about it too because maybe you can be in the know